Hey everyone, welcome to day four of our best year ever group. Today we are focusing on all things health. And just in the last year or so, this has become something that is really a big part of me and who I am and how I want to live my life. And I kind of want to give you the backstory on that because I think maybe I'm not alone in it. Maybe uh, you guys relate. So five years ago, I was 50 plus pounds overweight. I had anxiety, pain throughout my body, I had terrible knees, I had multiple knee surgeries, and I was completely depleted of energy, which meant I was totally dependent upon caffeine. And at the same time, I had all these high hopes for myself. I was working in a corporate job I didn't love. I actually hated it. It was soul sucking, but that's a whole other story. But I had this feeling inside I was made for more. I had big dreams and I wanted a better career and I wanted more money and I wanted better relationships and more fulfillment, more happiness. And I thought I could achieve those things while still bypassing and neglecting one important fundamental thing. And that's my health. It was more than just about my weight. It was the fact that I had taken the shortcuts in the past I had, <clears throat> excuse me, done the diets, the pills, the programs, the workouts, the gym, the New Year's resolutions. I had searched for the band-aids and the quick fixes, but I needed health for the long term so that I could feel different from the inside out. If I wanted to achieve all those incredible things in my life, all those things that we're focusing on this week, I needed energy. I needed um, my brain fog to go away. I needed a stronger body, better skin, less pain, less anxiety to reduce stress, reduce inflammation in my body. I needed to learn what it was my body even needed. And at the core of all of that, I needed to get my confidence back. And it's funny because we don't always think about health and our mental state or health and our peak performance or health and our um, confidence on the same playing field, but they go hand in hand. And I needed to feel comfortable in my own skin. And it had been so long since that had happened, I'd forgotten what that meant, what that would even feel like. So the purpose of today isn't to introduce you to some new fad diet or another silver bullet or disillusion you into thinking that, <clears throat> that this is all about weight. Whether you fit in a size two or you hardly squeeze into a size 20, this applies to you. Because I know I'm gonna sound like crunchy and like a little hippie-ish here, but I really wanna drive home the idea that we are what we eat. And you are what you believe, you know, we are what we eat, we are what we believe, and what we're doing each day as far as nutrition and exercise, if we're not doing it right, we're doing ourselves a major disservice. And if we think that we can bypass this health stuff and still have all of those other wonderful things that we're talking about, the healthy relationships, um, the, the amazing career, the fulfillment, going after our passions and our dreams, without taking care of our body, what will allow us to do those things, we're crazy. So I wanted to start with that simple truth of we are what we eat. And just bear with me, I will explain, and I'm going to give you concrete, tangible things that you can take away from this and apply to your life and see the difference and feel the difference. So we don't really give this concept enough credit. We think everything nutrition related is about what we cut out. We have to count calories, we have to weigh our food. It's about what we take in that really matters. We don't give that enough weight. It's not necessarily about what we're removing. Yeah, there are things that you should take out of your diet because they're not healthy. They, they slow your body down. We think low fat or wheat, like those are, oh, those are lifesavers. Those will make us thin and help us to be healthier. Those things are hurting us just as much as, you know, the other processed crap that we bring into our bodies. But good health is not just about calories, it's about the quality of the calories that we're consuming. So did you know, well, in my last year or so of researching like a mad woman, listening to podcasts, I shared a few with you that I've been loving, the Healthy Moms podcast and um, the Model Health Show. They really have like opened my eyes to a new way of living. Um, but so many of the ailments we face, 
I'm talking like anything from pain, inflammation, headaches, migraines, um, joint pain, sleeplessness, you know, insomnia or any of those kind of like stress, those issues, all the way up to diseases like cancers and dementia and Alzheimer's, they can be in some capacity oftentimes controlled or treated or even pre prevented by what we consume day to day. Food is either acting as a poison in our body or as a medicine. And I never understood the true gravity of this until I suffered from major digestive issues. And I thought that that pain I was feeling, that discomfort every time I ate certain things was just gonna be solved by some medication or was just how people live. But I didn't realize that food and proper supplementation could help solve these issues. And the wrong foods were exacerbating the issues. And on top of that, I, ex I suffered from extreme fatigue, major brain fog, and massive inflammation in my body, which caused bloat and weight gain. And if you've ever experienced those things, sometimes we're like, oh, we tried this diet and it didn't work. Well, what are you consuming? And is dieting the best approach or is healthy living, healthy eating, clean eating the right approach? And I'm gonna to talk to you about balancing both the nutritional side of things and the fitness side of things, no matter how busy you are, or how broke you are, or how depleted or spread thin you are, this has to be a priority. And tomorrow we're talking about self-care and the importance of that, but it has to start here. Because all of those awesome goals that you did on your goal sheet and, and that self-assessment and you found those areas you want to improve, if you don't feel your best, you won't operate your best. So please, please, please give this the credit and the respect that it deserves. So your resource guides today, you're getting two of them. One of them is just to simplify your shopping process. I, I like simple, I'm really visual, I want a checklist. So I gave you guys a simple shopping list that can allow you to go to the grocery store and buy the right things. Start seeking out maybe different things that you haven't sought out before. Eliminated the, eliminating the processed foods, leaning more towards clean foods, and you don't have to spend a fortune to get this right. And I also included my guide on how to add healthy fat into your diet to get even healthier, to have even more energy, and actually to lose weight. I've eaten more fat and lost more fat on my body by including that healthy fat into what I'm eating um, than back when I was eating low calorie, low fat. <clears throat> or, or non-fat. And if you want to know more about fat, I, it's included in the resource guide, but you can find my video. I did a live stream really breaking it down on why it's so important and what it can help um, treat and ailments it can help fight. <clears throat> it's over on my like page, so you can find it in my videos. <clears throat> so what was the major catalyst for change for me? You know, I told you I was over 50 pounds overweight. Um, I was really unhealthy and I didn't really have the confidence in myself so it wasn't just like oh I'm gonna start this and it's gonna give me results I, I thought nothing was gonna work so first step was researching for me I knew I had to find the right way to manage my health and my weight and I needed that long-term approach stop thinking in terms of shortcuts stop thinking in terms of um, a quick fix that's what gets you into more trouble. When you can, like over the last five years, even through two pregnancies, being pregnant right now, I haven't been perfect, but I always have this baseline now that I've learned how to live and how to eat that works for my body so that when I do have those, you know, moments where I'm human, I know what to come back to to ensure that I'm feeling my best, looking my best, and having that confidence I need. So I was looking at the time about five years ago for a healthy whole food approach to start giving my body what it really needed instead of depriving it of what it needed in order to lose weight. And that's what brought me here. I, I, I mean, you guys know I'm a Beachbody coach and Shakeology was the answer for me. That was what open the door to me starting to lose weight, to start feel better, to start to get off of caffeine. And I had looked into other options, but I wanted something that allowed me to reach my goals while truly transforming my health. And I wanted something that I knew someday that I wanted to bring 
beautiful little babies into the world and I wanted something that was safe during pregnancy because to me that's an indicator that um, it really is from whole foods it's not chemicals it's not artificial it's coming from the right sources and thankfully my doctors I've had two different OBs now and um, they both have recommended with flying colors for me to take it continue with it so I highly recommend starting your day off with a strong dose of nutrition whatever that is for you I know the power of doing that and it will help clear that brain fog it'll help give you that natural energy that you're seeking without that crash midday and it'll help to start to heal your body from the inside out you're gonna feel and see those benefits right off the bat plus at the same time when you do that first thing in the morning you're gonna boost your metabolism and that's huge for weight loss I used to juice like juice my own fruits and vegetables and I tried making my own shakes and that's a good approach if you have a lot of time and a lot of money. Um, it was costing me a fortune and taking me a ton of time and I hated cleaning the juicer and to, to be able to get everything my body really needed. And I was also then having to go out and buy extra supplements and additional whole foods. So that's why I personally turned to a shake like Shakeology because it had everything I needed in it. And I personally, at the time, in talking to a nutritionist and my chiropractor, I realized that I really needed an increase in my fiber, my pre and probiotics, fruits and veggies, you know, protein, phytonutrients, superfoods, um, antioxidants. I needed all of those things and I was lacking them and I couldn't get them just from purchasing stuff at the supermarket alone. So this was an affordable, you know, simple, no brainer way for me to do this daily. And that's the key. Whatever you choose, make sure it's daily. Consistency is king in achieving health results. Whether whether it's lower blood pressure, controlled sugar levels, um, getting off of medications, or having more energy or losing the weight. It has to be every day. It can't be even like five days a week and then take every weekend off. Find simple little things that are not torture for you. That's why I'm saying like avoid the really crazy diets that are trying to stretch you too thin and find the little things that you can incorporate into your day to day that will make a big difference. And on top of that, at the same time, we're going to shift a little bit <clears throat> to exercise because that's an important piece of the puzzle. Sometimes people try to go crazy on exercise or crazy with their diet, but they don't combine the two in the right way. And I had been a gym rat, but I didn't have a focused plan. And I think that's what we keep coming back to in this group on all the topics is you have to have focus, intention, a plan, action steps. When you wing it, you don't know where you're going to end up. So if you have a desired result in mind, but you're just eating healthy or exercising, there's a very, very, very good chance that you're not gonna get to the results that you want. And that was me five years ago, kind of going to the gym, coasting, taking occasional classes, eating healthy here and there, but not all the time, not knowing exactly what that meant, eating low fat, low calorie, not truly having a plan to follow. So again, I'm sharing more of what worked for me. You have to find what works for you. That equaled switching to home workouts. And that was like totally against everything I stood for because I'm like, I go to the gym, I lift weights. I'm not doing these sissy workouts. And they totally kicked my butt. And I went from minimal to no results to life-changing results, 50 pounds lost, like muscle definition, abs for the first time since, you know, I was like a six-year-old in gym class, going to gymnastics. And even though it went against my norm, I had to find what worked for me. There was no more excuse of like, oh, it's snowing out. I don't want to have to move my car, living in the city and go to the gym. Like find something that will allow you to stay on track, whether it's the gym and going to certain classes, whether it's having a personal trainer or whether it's doing something at home that allows you to follow the step by step and joining like a group that helps hold you accountable or working with a coach. Find what will keep you on track every single day. <clears throat> there are too many obstacles in life and you don't want to pick something that will become another obstacle. And I needed a meal plan. I needed a way of living out eating and a workout plan that didn't require a ton of my time, but it was a simple system that I could stick to. So I wanted to share um, a couple of different quick things 
that I've incorporated into my eating, into my life that have been tremendously life-changing. I'm not gonna break down every single one in a ton of detail. Um, we can talk more about this in the comments if you guys wanna know specific brands that I use or sometimes I'm not even like partial to a brand, you just wanna find the best quality. And um, you can start your process of becoming a researcher yourself. So if I bring something up and you're interested in learning more, yes, I'm happy to answer questions, but go out and do your research, figure out what it is that's gonna work for you. So one is, I already told you about Shakeology. My next big one is bone broth. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> but it's essentially what exactly what it sounds like. It's the broth created from the bones of meat. Something that my, my wonderfully ethnic family has been doing for generations, and I always remember my grandfather, when I was sick, like trying to feed me this bone broth, and I thought he was crazy, and I didn't realize until recently in this last year of really getting into researching how healing bone broth can be for the gut, for, which by the way is like the epicenter of how your body functions. We think it's always the brain. The gut oftentimes controls the brain. Um, so healing in the gut, overcoming food intolerances, reducing cellulite, who doesn't love that? Immunity support, joint health, inflammation relief, pain relief. So bone broth, you can make it yourself. I also, I sometimes do that and I also, um, will order it online from really reliable uh, organic sources. Again, we can talk more in detail in the group. Magnesium, this is a supplement I brought into my life and I'm gonna talk in more detail about it tomorrow during the self-care day. But magnesium is something that we are all deficient in. It's a mineral, a vitamin that we are all truly deficient in and it's next to impossible to get enough of it from diet alone. And taking it in pill form isn't always the best way for your body to absorb it. We actually absorb it best through the skin. So I use a spray, it's a, it has no smell. I get it on Amazon. Again, I'm gonna give you this information tomorrow, but it helps with stress control, um, sleep, uh, bone strength, muscle healing. Magnesium is a wonderful, wonderful thing to bring into your body that will really help control these different things. Pre and probiotics. They can be a little pricey. I, that's one of the reasons that I drink Shakeology is to get my pre and probiotics without having to buy them separately. But pre and probiotics are so helpful for digestion and metabolism with all, all play a role in weight loss and um, they make you feel good. They're also great when you're sick. Hydrate. Um, to stay hydrated, especially during this pregnancy, I often will see people kicking butt in their workouts or their diets and then they go drink a Gatorade and I'm like, oh my God, no. There's high fructose corn syrup in that. It's like poison. And these artificial dyes and artificial sweeteners and they're just all straight up bad. So you have to find, different, like I understand that not everyone wants to drink water all the time and sometimes your body needs the electrolytes. So I use a supplement, it's actually called Hydrate and I get it through, um, beach, it's a beach body supplement. There might be other ones out there but that's the one that I love, it tastes amazing. But I've been using it during this pregnancy especially because when I've gotten sick, it's helped me to like rehydrate my body when I need more than just water, when I need those electro electrolytes. But it also has potassium, which is incredibly good for you. And it's awesome for leg cramps. And I get leg cramps like crazy during pregnancy. Magnesium is actually awesome for that too. Apple cider vinegar, it tastes bad. <laughs> but find ways to incorporate it into your diet. I, right now, I'm drinking my tea and in my black tea are two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And to offset that taste, I use a few drops of stevia and organic stevia. And I use a little bit of organic all natural apple juice. And it really, it smells worse than it tastes, but it's incredible for digestion and treating so many different ailments that we face in the body. It alkalizes the body. It's just, it's an amazing tool to have in your belt. Omega-3 omega fatty acids, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B, all of those are um, different things that you should be seeking out. And again, I don't like to have to take a billion different pills, so a lot of these are incorporated into my shake, but you can either get them in pill form, you can get them in drops, but make sure you're, you're getting enough of each of those. Two things that I will talk more about um, in that fat resource, so I'm not gonna go into it in detail, but our MCT oil, which is derived from coconuts, 
It's a high fat oil that <clears throat> gives you a lot of those omega-3 fatty acids and um, it's incredibly healthy and I use it in my bulletproof tea. You can make bulletproof coffee too or I throw it in my shake and coconut oil. Another thing that is broken down a little bit more in that fat resource. I add coconut oil in my son's food all the time because it's like brain power. This, this healthy fat, these omega-3s. So I'll put it in oatmeal or I cook with it or I use it on my skin and hair. And again, see that fat resource to get more information on those. Spirulina and chlor... Chl I get this wrong every time. Chlorella. Chlorella. I always want to say cholera. <laughs> um, they are like a powerhouse of essential nutrients. And the benefits that they endow for disease prevention and health are just phenomenal. It helps to detox, detox us of heavy metals, helps prevent cancer, lowers blood pressure, lowers chances of stroke or heart disease, um, helps boost energy, helps naturally boost weight loss, helps with your sinuses, delays aging, which we all love because you see that in your skin. And it's one of the most concentrated sources of protein in the world, the spirulina. So I get it in a powder form. I order it on Amazon. Make sure it's just organic. It's coming from a very safe source. And um, just do your research. I, don't, I want you guys to become researchers so that you can get this information for yourself. And I just put like a half a teaspoon in my shake every morning. I don't, t you don't taste it. And it just is boosting all of those things for me. Clean eating in general. Look at your labels. When something has multiple ingredients, isa no good. You don't want to eat it. You don't want to consume that. If it has things on the label that you don't know what they are, it's like a different language, you definitely don't want to eat it. You don't want to be giving it to your kids. We've been in this habit, habit for decades of eating health foods, but then when we, we don't look at the ingredients. We eat it because it says it's gluten-free or it's low fat or low calorie, but we don't break down what is in it. What are we putting in our body that we are not physically made to process so that causes issues in our digestion, in our brains, in our metabolism, in our overall health, our immune system. It is not good. So you have to learn to read your labels. And at the end of the day, you're looking for clean, 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 just simple, basic. Some of my favorite recipes that I cook that I've learned from different programs that I've done, one that I'm going to reference in a second, have been um, like three or four ingredients. Simple, basic, that's how you get thinner, more fit, more muscular, healthier, more energetic, more prevent more disease and all of those other things that you're seeking. And I think everything changed for me when I did a program called The Reset. I, I was, I thought I knew what healthy eating was. I even thought I knew what clean eating was until I did this program and it's like, detoxified my body in a way I couldn't even believe. My mom did it with me. She came off of the cholesterol medication she's been on my entire life. My uncle did it with us. He came off of the ulcer medication he's been on since a, he was a kid. You need to find the things that allow you to be your own advocate, take the baby steps you need to take, and learn what works for your body. Um, yes, I'm saying clean eating, but certain foods might work for me that don't work for you and vice versa. Um, and I'm actually going to be giving more information on the reset because I'm, I'm kicking off a group with that starting soon. So if you have questions specific to that, feel free to reach out. But just, this is not meant to overwhelm. This video is a little longer than the other ones because it's so important. It's so fundamental. Find the things that work for you and be consistent every day every day every day that is the key to finding true health prosperity living abundantly and achieving all of those goals that you're writing down now the vision that you have for your future it has to start with your health you have to feel good to live good that's how it has to be so learn what to cut it out cut out of your life um, and make it non-negotiable. Learn what to bring into your life and make it non-negotiable. Clear out your cabinets of what's top toxic. Have movement every day. Commit to some kind of workout or system or plan that works for you and help your children have the best chance of living healthily and avoiding the decades that we did to ourselves 
of doing it the wrong way. Do it the right way. Do it for you. Do it for your family. And do it so that you can have the very best year yet.